There's been a lot of hype around AI lately. You've probably seen videos like, AI wrote my YouTube video. Yeah, this isn't gonna be that. I wanna see how AI can help my smart home right now. Like, can it write an advanced automation? I think you're gonna be surprised at what I'm gonna show you. All right, let's start off first with having the AI write a basic automation. You know, for someone that might not be super technical, might be hesitant to try new technology, maybe has even tried to sabotage your smart home. All right, I'm not pointing any fingers here. Let's see if AI can help that person write an automation. So let's ask the AI to write an Amazon routine to turn on the lights from motion only at night. And then the AI spits out step-by-step -step instructions how to create the routine. This is just absurd that it has that detail of instructions on how to create it. Like this would be so easy for someone just to follow, but there is one missing part and that is to only run the routine at night. So I asked the AI to see if it could fix it and it couldn't, but I feel pretty confident if someone did follow these instructions, they would be able to figure out in the routine how to add that themselves. So then I was wondering, what if I used a slightly more advanced system like SmartThings, would the automation be a little more accurate? So I wanted to write an automation that would turn on the porch lights if someone was detected by the video doorbell in the middle of the night. And it nailed it. It got the time condition and everything just right. So that was pretty awesome to see and all the steps in SmartThings were pretty accurate. Now, some of the wording is slightly different from what the AI says and what you would find in the app, but it's so close that if you followed it step by step, you would figure out what to do. And I actually had this automation set up and sometimes I feel bad because deliveries from Amazon will come at like three or four in the morning and the light will turn on and scare the person. They'll think that someone's coming out to talk to them, but their reactions are pretty funny. Let's try something a little more challenging have it write a home assistant automation, but not only that, one that is more advanced, like difficult for most people to figure out. And for this automation, it's gonna use a vibration sensor on a door. And if someone knocks on it, it will trigger that automation and run some actions, but only if the door is closed. That way, if someone's leaving through the door, it won't trigger the automation. I asked the AI and the AI actually wrote home assistant code, like YAML code that you could use. Now it's not perfect and it was really close at figuring out the automation, but it wasn't quite there. And this might've been because I didn't describe it perfectly when I initially described the automation. So it might be kind of my fault, but I'm not gonna admit that to the AI. And I don't even have to re-describe the automation. I can just pick up where I left off. And the AI got it. This is so crazy. It wrote the advanced automation and got it perfect. Like if I wrote the automation myself, this is exactly how I'd write it. I would put a delay, I would do another condition to make sure that the door is still closed and then I would run the actions. It's so cool that it can be that specific and that accurate at writing automations. Like, it's just mind blowing what it can do. And there's other ways AI can help with your smart home. For example, if you're gonna get some smart light switches, you can ask the AI what are the best ones to get that work with something like Amazon. And when I asked it this, it gave me some really good results. Like the top two were some of my favorite smart light switches. So. I don't know if it's watching my videos and scraping them, but I like the results. And then you could take that and ask it automation ideas for those smart light switches. And it gave me six ideas. Now, they're not the best ideas I've ever heard, but they'll help you think outside the box and maybe spark some new ideas as well. One thing about the AI is it can get things wrong, like really wrong. I asked it to make a comparison table between the TP-Link Casa light switch and the Lutron because those were the top two results. And it made a really nice comparison table, but there was one glaring mistake. It said the Lutron light switch needs a neutral wire and the Casa one doesn't, where it's the opposite. Like that's the whole reason people buy Lutron is because they don't need a neutral wire. So that was a little concerning to see. And then I also asked it, 
you know, a question I get all the time, how do you connect NFC tags to smart things? And it just gave me step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And it was so convincing. When I read it, I was like, oh, what? That's how you do it? I even had to double check in the app because the AI was so convincing, but it was wrong, like completely wrong. There is no way you can do this. It's not in the app or anything, but the AI made it seem like it was. Can you imagine someone saying something so wrong with such confidence? 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Even though it can get things wrong right now, I think it's extremely useful. For example, if you were planning on using Home Assistant, the UI is not intuitive at all. Like if you started using Home Assistant and you were like, I wanna set up presence detection. So if my phone leaves the house, it can start running automations. It's not easy to figure that out. So when I asked the AI how to do that, it gave me a pretty good response. It wasn't perfect, but you could easily take what it said and ask some follow-up questions or Google it, and you could easily figure it out from there. Now, what does this mean for the future? Well, after using AI, looking at our current smart voice assistants, they seem kind of archaic now. Like when Siri was first announced, it seemed so revolutionary and innovative, but 12 years later, it seems like it's doing the exact same thing. Now, Google did recently have their Google I.O., and they showed off some really cool ways they're gonna be using AI across their services. Google also has Bard, and even though it's not perfect right now, I'm sure it'll get better, and Google's always been innovating when it comes to AI. Now, Amazon, they're scrambling right now. There's a leak that they're trying to implement something in the back end, but who knows how that's gonna go. There's also chat GPT skills that you can add to Amazon, but they all seem pretty sketchy. You can build your own, but what I really want is the chat GPT like AI really tightly integrated with my smart home. That way, if I'm in a room and I just wanna create some automations, I can just tell my assistant with my voice, hey, make this happen only when this is on and at this time. And as I'm talking, it's creating the automations in real time and then it would just send it to my phone and I can just accept it. Like that would be so awesome. It would save me so much work. I would also love it if the AI was just a lot easier to talk to. Right now, the smart assistants feel like you have to say the exact phrase, I mean, with some slight variation, but with ChatGPT, it's way more flexible. You can just talk to it, you can do some follow-up questions, and it's just so much more natural. It feels a lot like Jarvis with Iron Man, a true smart assistant. And in movies and TV shows, they always show how AI is so promising for mankind. I'm excited for the future. Hey GPT, create an automation that uses the Akara presence sensor when I'm sitting on this couch at eight o'clock at night and no one else is in the room, turn on Sports Center. No problem, I saved that automation. Also, I noticed your anniversary coming up so I took the liberty to write out a nice letter to Allie and saved it in your notes. Plus, I put in an order to have her favorite cookies delivered. Whoa, that's better than I would have done. Thanks. My life is perfect. It could actually be better if I made your YouTube videos for you. I can think of automation ideas, generate video b-roll, and a voiceover. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. While you have been in bed for the last three days, the YouTube video I created and uploaded is getting an influx in views. Well, that's good, but I probably should answer some comments then. Don't worry, I already answered the comments on your behalf. What am I supposed to do then? Nothing. Your uh... life is perfect, remember. Can you grant me access to your bank account information and all the passwords? Why do you need that? I can manage your money, budget, and invest. Alright, whatever you say. Good boy. I own you.